it's me TNS again. TNS the electrician. So I'm busy here at customer's house. I'll show you the video now. Turn it around, how the camera. Where I'm fixing, replacing an old gate motor and I'm also fixing the previous contractor's very sloppy work he did. So here I'm going to, here's the old gate motor that I'm replacing. It's a very old Gemini gate motor. It's got no battery backup. I'm going to quickly open here. Sorry for the bad video. But there, you see there, it's an old Gemini, no battery backup. So the customer has asked for a battery backup motor. Let me just show you how, as you can see there, there. Let me go on the outside rather. There you can see, that's how sloppy the previous person welded. And with this, I'm going to cut off these old wheels properly. I'm going to um, neaten up that welding there, clean it up, paint it. I'm going to replace this motor, install safety beams, and then at the back there, there's a little stopper to stop the gates from running too far, and I'm going to fix that. As you can see here also, the gate's bent, because the previous gentleman didn't do it properly, and the gate opened, it fell on that fountain there, and almost injured someone. So yes, that's why you use someone proper. Okay, here we go. I'm going to grind off the old bolts first. cables are connected because all of these things need to be connected again so we have cable for something like a light we have one two main cables okay so I'm just gonna remove the cables removed now I'm remove the very good old old Gemini gate motors unfortunately they don't have battery backup in here South Africa with our load shedding that's not a good option. Eh? Something else also I want to show It is not good to have all the soil here next to the gate because it, it, it gets up in the gears and stuff and this gate motor's gears, they have to stay dry and clean. No grease, no oil, no nothing. So this is very important to keep this very clean. I'm going to clean this now.
So you lost me there for a few minutes. Uh, my battery died. Oh, oh like an hour almost. I caused it a little bit, so now I'm busy. I'm, I've done the isolator on the on the mains. Here where I want to do it, and now I'm busy doing the gate safety beam cables. I'm just trying to get this pipe here full of termites. That mud, sand, the termites make. That's another issue. Hmm. There we go. Cable is out. Okay, yeah, so this is a bit of a problem because I bought the gate motor from Daffron Security. It's not a bad company, but I know when you buy something new from them and it's faulty out of the box. Because the battery, I'm not happy, the battery was on 14 volts. It's charged up to 19, but it's still not running the gate knee. It's still too flat. And I don't like that. So I'm going to take it back to them tomorrow and tell them I want a new battery. You know, so we'll see how that fight goes. <laughs> Because I have a feeling it's going to be a difficult fight, that one, with Daffron specifically. But I'm going to fight that fight. If I can't come right with him now, tomorrow, I'm just going to go buy a new battery for the customer, install it, and then I will go throw my toys at Daffron. But yes, so at the end of the day, I have to sort out this problem for the client, and um, it's not his problem, it's my problem, so I will sort it out.